Happy Friday! My name is Phil Osophical and I am here on this magnificent morning in Bloomington, Indiana and the cosmic sun is rising on the horizon behind me as you can see and it is just a beautiful day to be alive and our modern cult dominant culture here in America likes to call this Black Friday because it's this huge day of shopping and, and buying all kinds of stuff but I I today am just celebrating a day on earth because I think it's it's important that we make the distinction between what is what is the ancient cycles of of the earth and then what is the human culture puts kind of on top of that and so it's like today is is just an ordinary beautiful and amazing day but our culture calls it Black Friday so then we we tend to see it as Black Friday and uh, I think it's just interesting to to focus on how we for example maybe we're walking down the sidewalk and because we're part of because we identify with civilization we we feel more comfortable on the sidewalk but if we if we identify more with the the primacy of of na of the natural world then we would identify more with this and be like oh what the heck's this weird stuff doing on on our grass field you know and also we could look at this this housing development where my grandparents live which is a very nice place but we could also see that these these ancient these trees that are probably 80 years old some of these tall ones these have been here far longer than this than this uh, housing development and so basically the theme with all these things is to is to tune in to these these deeper deeper patterns of nature and and realize that certain things have been happening for thousands and millions of years and we are a part of this we are nature we our bodies our bodies are just as wiggly as nature and Alan Watts a great philosopher noticed how whenever human whenever civilized man has came somewhere and and uh, messed around we always leave squares we leave boxes and rectangles but the rest of the natural world is this wiggly spiraling circling motion and I think in order to reconnect we really need to integrate more circles into our lives like waking up early and and watching the sunrise or the earth rotate as I like to call it because uh, it's just a perspective of seeing the sunrise but it's all relative anyway um, and so just yeah the more we can become as wiggly as nature and kind of integrate our our civilization into a more wiggly pattern as permaculture does very well I'll post the link to some permaculture videos um, I feel we can we can find a more harmonious balance and not have these crazy holidays of shopping where we feel so much we feel so much inadequacy that we need to just spend all day getting new stuff when really we can just perhaps appreciate this incredible sunrise Imagine if every day on Black Friday, people instead of sh shopping, they just got up and and greeted the sun with a big community gathering and and had a huge fire burning and were playing music. Imagine that as an alternative. If every day CNN covered all over the the country, all these different community gatherings, people waking up early on the day after Thanksgiving and instead of buying plastic goods shipped over from China everyone's playing drums and singing songs 
and smiling with the little children who instead of playing video games are riding around having a good time that's what I would like to see that's what I intend to help create that type of world um, so today this is light Friday here in Bloomington Indiana so please check out the links to the permaculture videos there's so much beauty in the world we are reconnecting with the earth, with the natural cycles, with the primacy of the natural world. Have a beautiful light Friday, my friend. Peace.